We are Didi and Arma, and in our daily lives, we support people on the path of self liberation. We teach time tested energy skills like Qigong, Tai Chi, internal alchemy, traditional nutrition, and meditation. We help people release stagnation, build energy, and become aligned with themselves and their purpose in life. In this podcast, we share the methods, skills, and solutions that helped us, our students, and now hopefully you move forward. Let's explore transformation together. And today we're talking about letting go. And the art of letting go. Absolutely, because it's an art. Yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah. And we're holding on to so many things as as a person. And the the first thing that we need to do to be able to let go is to be aware of what we're holding on to. Absolutely. So, (laughs) yeah, it needs some waking up at a certain level to to see that is it's us that that's holding on to something yeah which causes a lot of emotional things uh and also maybe actions that are not serving us at all no. um so yeah i mean for myself i had to go pretty far to wake up actually so <laughs> and i see it with with our students as well yeah right so uh, I yeah think, i think before you um, start to be aware of it you need to have some pain or some something that mm. really doesn't work you know yeah or maybe see patterns where you yeah. keep hitting your head yeah. against the same thing and yeah. you're like oh i have to force it i have to force it or yeah. and it's just not working and you get tired and then you then you start to let go getting tired is a good thing sometimes it's just yeah. like oh man i cannot do this anymore i need to i need to change yeah. So that's the whole thing. You wake up to the to the idea that you have to change. And, you know, when people come to us, they ex- they, they cannot really expect yet what, what it's going to be, right? They maybe have gone on the internet or bought a book or got a book from a friend or whatever. And they start reading about internal training. And they're like, oh, maybe maybe there's something in that for me. At least because they're realizing it's 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 themselves that has to change, right? It's uh, it's 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 a path yeah. going inward. Yeah, I think yeah. there is th- that's the thing as well. That most of, when we think something goes wrong, we have a tendency to look on the outside, like mm-hmm. oh, there are all these reasons from. Um, um, some some friend is doing this and and family dad family is doing my that boss is doing and, that and and the, and the weather is bad and, and the yeah. dog just woke up in the middle of the night and so <laughs> <laughs> the, these, now you're talking about experience right <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so yeah. all these things they well they have an impact yeah. but the, but the the thing that you have the biggest impact on is yourself well you know it's we have to understand that it's our own reactivity towards mm. these situations yeah. that is causing the problem yeah. uh, wanting you know circumstance to be different than it is causes yeah. this uh this this tension this uh contraction that's you know on ev- every level is is holding on is is, yeah. is, is stagnation right yeah. but it's not only the outside thing i'm I mean, on a more subconscious level, we're also having a lot of judgment towards ourselves. Mm, absolutely. You know, yeah. that's what I see a lot with people is that they're they're So they think they're fighting with the outside, but they're actually fighting with themselves. Yeah. And um, this is not how you say this is not someone, something that people, you know, can help really. It's It's so... It's so ingrained, uh, ingrained in, in our upbringing and, you know, it's it's the way we sort of learn how to deal with things, you know. You know, I remember we had a session recently, right, with our online group and I, I just said, like, you know, I mean, we, we learn, we, I, I don't want to, you know, well, you know, in school you learn a lot of things that are helpful, right, but you don't really learn anything about yourself, mm. In about how to deal with yourself, which is actually the most important skill you can learn here, right? Because yeah. I think when if, if you want to be successful in the outside world, it has to align with your own success. Yeah. And then you can also determine what is actually success. Yeah. But you have to move beyond your own conditioning and your own patterns. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. And also start... <clears throat> 
<laughs> sorry, I, I said start. I mean, stop fighting with yourself. Yeah. Learn how to stop fighting with yourself yeah. and and ac- accept your this part of you yeah. as being a, a, you know change change can happen when we start when we stop judging ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you of course you have to be very aware of all these patterns in you, but we don't want to judge ourselves for it yeah. because it's all second, third, fourth hand what we're what we're oh. dealing with. Right? And but then you're already one step further. I mean, we have. I always love teaching about five elements because then you start to see all these patterns. Yeah, you start to see patterns, and you you see that on a physical level, emotional level. A spiritual level mm-hmm. and you go through the elements and people are like ah, uh, now, I, now see I see now I see that my emotional um, response or my it, it's coming from somewhere and then on the same level I also have all these physical um, well yeah results or results uh, stagnations and, yeah. or yeah and so it all works together. And now I see that I cannot, you know, uh, I cannot get any further because I'm holding myself back. Yep. And I have all these patterns uh, that are holding me in place. Exactly. So you could say there's sort of a, because of course the five elements, you, you see this, this cause and effect cycle, of course, like you, you can, you can see the process of everything, I, mean, yeah. I guess, <laughs> right? It's an amazing model for that. But you can actually see where the creation cycle starts, right? You can yeah. so, and with creation, I mean, it's like you can see the cause of eff- and effect of where you start to hold on and then create from there. Yeah. And then you can also see it's like, okay, but if we, if we start balancing out and we start with, you know, looking inside, we can actually go to more of a destructive cycle, which isn't negative in this case. I mean, yeah. and of course, the word destruction. <laughs> Uh, okay, but in this case, it means that we we're, we're sort of um, we're we're turning it around. Yeah. So this creation might be is like okay, something happens to you, or there's uh, there's something something happens, and you start touching it, and from there this emotional response comes to it, and of I'm sure if you're listening to this, you know you you will recognize that some of these patterns that just keep returning in your yeah, life yeah. in certain situations, but that that's just happening because there's this subconscious mm. uh, reaction yeah. um, that just happens before you know it, and yeah. then you're in the same thing, and you're like, man, I want to change it, but you cannot really yeah. touch it yet, and that's yeah. why these five elements and other models, of course, as yeah. well, but these five elements is so clear because it. It doesn't overlook anything. No. You can see everything, right? And the yeah. art of letting go is actually it's one actually of the pillars, there, yeah. right? And it's connected very much to yeah. Uh, yeah. The metal, element. metal element. So, yeah, before, you know, before um, being able to be reborn, mm-hmm. you need to let go. So that's, yeah, yeah, that's metal. So that's, yeah, that's just a beautiful model. Um, but it's, yeah, I think that's in life we have, uh, when we're born, we, we inherit so many things from our parents. And what I, I always love to see, which, well, love to see, but, uh, when people talk about what they eat, what they drink, how their lifestyle is, it's very based upon what we learn from a young age. Yeah. So, and we inherit the patterns from our parents, from our teachers, from all these people around us. Mm. But what we also inherit is their lifestyle. Yeah. How yeah. they look at life. Yeah. How, um, how they think you should live your life. Abs- absolutely. And yeah. so we get in the same patterns emotionally yeah. and spiritually. And unless you're at a certain point Mm -hmm. are very aware of this, you start doing this. And this is as simple as as when you're, well, in Holland, for example, when you're uh, about what age, 12, Mm -hmm. you, you start to get some coffee. As a child, I don't know, but that depends was a little bit in, in your was, household. But you yeah. know, that's that's when that stuff I, comes in. I hated in. coffee, so I still don't drink it, and uh, I uh, I don't like it. But 
what you see in my in my surroundings as a child you would be presented to that and and we would drink it every morning every evening and you would get a cup of coffee but what does it do it creates unrest yeah it creates unrest and it creates noise in the head well at the moment you drink it it's a ritual that's all about soothing i yes. guess you know it's it's a, it's it's a soothing ritual um and and this is just one example but there's so yeah. many yeah right it, i just wanted to take that out because yeah. it's it's something that we see that a lot of people do and it's it's from well here from an early age and you just go into it and you don't realize that uh, what effect it has mm -hmm. True. And and what kind of um, somebody needs to really uh, uh, yeah show you mm -hmm. that this has such a big effect yeah and then but then the the hard part because it's so ingrained and so part of your daily ritual now you have to take it out of your daily ritual and there are so many things that are kind of um, you have this um, emotional kind of uh, bond mm -hmm. with, with your ritual. Yeah, sure. That it's kind of hard to let go because it stands for so much more. Oh man, it's yeah. but it's all on this in, on this unconscious level. And but I, I think the word soothing yeah. is in place. I think most well bad habits. I, I'm not sure if it's a bad habit. No, it becomes a bad habit if it's not serving you. Yeah. Right, but you have to wake up to the fact that it's not serving you. Yeah. And when do you wake up? Yeah. To the, to the point that it's not serving you, because until that point, it's sort of serving you. Yeah. But it's 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 serving you not on a high level. Yeah. <laughs> it's serving yeah. you on a lower level, right? Yeah. So if people come in and they you know they come into the training, um. I think one of the one of the many things I hear is that yeah I, I need I need peace of mind I need to get out of my head I need yeah. to feel and reconnect with my body again etc 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 and I think a lot of the, the the bad things we're doing actually are are are, are distracting from that yeah you know yeah. it's all about it's more about I mean a lot of these rituals are are social rituals as well Absolutely. so we do them together so we can so have a this soothing feeling yeah. together but when we come together most of what we eat and drink is oh. very bad stuff <laughs> it's just very very bad right yeah. so and of course a little bit every now and then I'm no saint right <laughs> but I I came to the conclusion at a certain point this is just it's not only not serving me it's adding to my unrest it's yeah. adding to my low self esteem it's yeah. adding to whatever my disbalances and everything yeah. so you know that's so important that when you wake up then now you have a chance to turn these things around and um and become really i mean with every day you become more conscious of your own yeah. patterns and then you have the chance yeah. to change them yeah for the better and i think yeah. for um and and in our course we see it as well the biggest impact is to take out something yeah you know yeah. it's not adding but it's to take out of yeah. your pattern it's it's to okay uh just say you stop drinking and i take the coffee because it has such a big impact it's such and it's so difficult for all the coffee people. lovers are gone yeah. by now yeah. they're not listening <laughs> yeah. anymore they're but, gone but um there are different <laughs> examples as well but you see when you take it out when you take the very yeah a drying and and heating um stuff out of your diet that has a big impact you can see the change with the people you, see, you know yeah. it's one week and then the second week and you see them you, their whole energy shifts yeah you know and then yeah. and so uh, taking out is the first thing that i do with all my students it's to take out something out of your diet and do that for at least 21 days and then see what it does. And, and most people don't want to get back. You know what I think is yeah. true power is, is that you have a choice. That's it. That's the, I, That's it's totally not about good or bad here. We don't want no. to make it dualistic. There's nothing wrong no. with coffee no, per no, se. No, no, no. There's, you know, it's all about having a choice. And, 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 and I think that's just, yeah. that's what the true power lies is, yeah. is that. 
And and another thing, and that was um, uh, knowing the connection. So now you yep. know, ah, uh-huh. I have a choice. You see the I cause and effect. Yeah. You see the cause and effect. So if I, and I, I take f- a food for an example, but there are so many more different, uh, more examples is if I drink wine. Now, well, most people know it. When I drink wine, ah, now I feel a certain way the next morning. Yeah, for sure. Do I want to feel this way? Yeah. Or do I not want to feel this way? Okay. Well, if I'm with friends, I have a good time. Okay. That's it. That's it. Then I'm going to do it. But now I made a conscious decision. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, this letting go process. Of course, we're in a in a sort of in a corner of the room where we yeah. are now, right? But it's it's all corners of the room, actually, yeah. right? So this this mental, uh, emotional, and physical connection. Yeah. There's so many entries in it, and we don't yeah. want to pass over anything. No. So no. you know, when we start teaching people, you have to break it down to the to the most physical plateau first, right? Yeah. You have to really go to the place where um you know the the body just the physical body is 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 a great entry into letting go on these levels as well yeah. right so if we're looking at holding on i mean the 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 mental emotional physical if you go to the physical body and you start stretching which which is one of the first things we're we're doing here right in this training stretching activating fascia etc now we're creating space in the system yeah now we can create movement in the system yeah. now there's you know and so the, the first entry the first door really is that i guess right is is yeah. is is uh is uh is the cool. physical thing yeah. and of course you know the vital energy as well yeah. that's all connected on that that same level so when we're looking at optimizing this energy we look at all these ex- aspects right we're looking at so what do you take in yeah what 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 can we release right because if you if you start looking at what you take in before you take it in you don't have to let go of it anymore oh. and that's, <laughs> right yeah, i mean absolutely. yeah so there's there's yeah. different ways to approach this yeah. right i mean of yeah. course we've got to the, the these yeah. exercises but yeah. what what it's not only about letting go but it's also yeah. what what not to let in yeah Exactly. Well, that, that's the, the, and it's good that you said that because the first thing I said, I'm always looking with students what they can let go. But first, the first exercise, and I've mentioned this many times, is their journal. Yeah. So before letting go of anything, hmm. you're writing a journal. So you get aware of what you're doing yeah. and what kind of effect it has on your system. And this brings us back to the yeah. judgment part again. Yeah. You, we want to do this without judgment because yeah. the judgment itself is the trigger to hold on. Yeah, yeah. Because now you're exactly, kind of, um, yeah, putting emotion on it, and yeah, yeah. So you can kind of, and that's what the stretching helps with. You create space. So it's that's what why we work together of and why course. it works so really good it's is... all interrelated with each other yeah. so did you know the, the art of letting go as a topic for a podcast is not an easy one because it's so it's so in everything yeah right but yeah. i'm sure for I, I can imagine we were making a part two three and four about this but <laughs> uh i think for this one it's we have to understand that there there needs to be a waking up moment yeah. and from there we dive in without judgment and just look at ourselves like, okay, what, what are these behaviors, patterns yeah. and stuff like that? Uh, and starting creating space yeah. on any level, right? Yeah. Physical, energetically, um, mentally, yeah. Yeah. creating flow and making sure it can go somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. And I think you, you, you kind of, um, yeah, by... By knowing, ah, there's the biggest effect. If you go stretch, uh, uh, go do the stretching. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you know what kind of food has the biggest impact on you, uh, so you can let that go. Um, that really helps to get results, and that will make you more motivated to to look further. Because you, you, you kind of need your, um, you need. A, 
your energy <laughs> to to go further and further. Of course, yeah. Um, so well, it's on the foundation yeah. of the pyramid, really. Yeah, is of course sure. is building strong vital energy yeah. because that's going to help you to let go. Absolutely. <laughs> See? If, if you if yeah. you're very, you know, if you're burned out and and just laying around, it's very hard to get into action. Absolutely. That's why we're doing all these mental trainings as yeah. well, right? We have yeah. to learn how to concentrate, but your concentration is dependent on your energy yeah. level. We all understand this, right? But it's all your also your mindfulness level on yeah. every aspect is that you are able to observe yourself um, and, 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 and take note, as you say, yeah. right? So journal not only the food intake, but also, okay, so how do I feel today? And how how do how do I feel compared to yesterday? Yeah. Um, what's the change? What did I eat? Yeah. How did did I did I do this? Did I do that? How did I respond to situations? What yeah. was the situation yesterday that caused my level of concentration or vitality to go down, but also maybe the negativity to go up? Right. Yeah. Uh, and so the whole thing of the training is that we we can we can we can change that through mindfulness really yeah. it, it yeah. starts with mindfulness yeah absolutely and then again we're getting full circle you can make choices then you, you can, can make, make choices. choices oh do i want to be in that kind of situation yeah do yeah. i am i just going and or um yeah what do i do want for myself Exactly. What can I do to make me feel the best that I can? Absolutely. Yeah. And that's a challenge for everyone. You know, yeah. the challenge is in there is that we're also, we're, we're, we're part of a social structure. Yeah. Right. And this social structure is not necessarily going that way. Right. Not, not as a, not as a whole. Right. Yeah. I'm not talking about individuals, but how it moves as, 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 uh, as a collective, you could say, is not going that direction at all. So for people to 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 take themselves out of there yeah. and say, okay, I'm 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 not going that direction anymore. I want to change that. There's there's also a letting go there, which is yeah. mm, you know that's uh, yeah that's sometimes pretty hard for people. Yeah. Um, yeah. Until you find is that when you start feeling better and you are move more and more into your own true power yeah. is that you can have a lot of influence on these people mm -hmm. as well because yeah. some people will realize like mm, there's something there's something with you at this you know there's something different and yeah. because i think most people are searching for something you know yeah. they they some some are more aware and awake than others but you know i, I you know. And, and I don't want to bring it back to coffee again, but it's, this was such a beautiful story <laughs> about one of her students. And she said um, she, uh, she stopped drinking coffee for uh, 21 days uh, or that was her challenge. And then she actually told her colleagues at work that yep. she stopped drinking coffee and so that she, uh, that she wasn't yeah, doing, doing that anymore. Doing yeah. that. And then one of her colleagues, she told us, one of her colleagues went really angry with her. Yeah, she was like, it's not about the coffee, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. And so there was a lot of resistance from her colleague. And she was just like, well, it's just my decision. It's only coffee. It's yeah. only coffee. So. But you can see the emotional. It, there was such an and emotional response. Addictive response yeah. to it as well. Yeah. And, um, and so after a couple of days... She said that her colleague came over and yeah. that she said, and this is beautiful, that she said, um, I stopped drinking coffee as well. It's amazing, right? So, and, yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, this is profound, but you're, you know, it's all, it's so profound. I realized at this moment that's, that this person, what you see happening, of course, is first there's this emotional well, you could say ego response towards yeah. change, right? And, and, and and there's something in us that that actually wants to push itself the way that's not good for us. Yeah. Why? Because it's a social pressure there. There's yeah. this. So this is such a strong thing. When she sees someone who she trusts, I guess, yeah. you know, who she knows as a colleague, and she sees, oh, now she maybe has this, this, how you say, almost like... Um, 
she's allowing herself yeah. to do it, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think that's the good word for it. It's almost like she's got the permission, permission almost yeah. the social permission to make that change because something inside her already felt is like, mm, this is not serving me yeah. at all, probably. Yeah. And it's becoming an addiction and it's going to, so, and, and there's, of course, many examples of this. But oh. this, this is a great example. Yeah. yeah, I loved it when she told it. And so what you see is when you let go of things, and yeah. it can be emotional things in your family, um, it can be anything, that you see that um, first, first of all, you probably get resistance towards you. Yeah. Because you're doing something that is going against the social structure yeah but then people are who are a little bit awake they start to kind of look at you and say ah yeah now there's something happening exactly they get inspired and they're like oh okay okay and maybe maybe there is another way maybe there's another way and they so they get aware and then they they also have uh, an opportunity to change. Oh, and that's and so huge. Go. That's so huge because you know you can you can now see is that well that person is doing that as well. How is she inspiring her environment, but, yeah. right? So this 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 spreading of awareness it takes it takes some people with uh, with guts. Yeah, really, you know, to ch- to make the change and, and, and letting go of things. Yeah. It's so it's so weird that you know we have this response to 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 health. Right, we have a negative uh, response to health almost, and it's yeah. it's crazy. It's yeah. so self-destructive in a sense. But when you start making the change, yeah, it's incredible. Beautiful. It's Beautiful. just incredible. Wow! Wow, that was yeah. great. Yeah, I loved it. I mean, this is just we we we've touched on some yeah. corner of this thing, and I I'm sure we'll be talking about letting go in many more podcasts. But in yeah, ways. yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. So no judgment here. No Absolutely. judgment towards yourself. And uh, yeah. yeah, beautiful. Nice. Well, hope that was helpful. Yeah. And, uh, and if you liked it, like and subscribe and we'll be back for more. For sure. Bye. Bye. Mm-hmm.